Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, I have explained to you what the mini project is all about. Today, I'm going to share with you how we execute the mini project. There are four essential rules of 21st century learning. First, instruction should be student centered, education should be collaborative. Learning should have context and lastly, school should be integrated with society. How do we integrate these four essential rules in our mini project? First, rule number one, student-centered instructions. In UPM, we have Putra Plus that allow the lecturer to share their lecture notes, their instructions, as well as the assignments to the students. Here, there is an example of the announcements that I made in Putra Blast. I have included some of the information that is important for the students. For example, they need to form a group of five people and where they should log in um, to other platforms to allow them to share the information and so on and so forth. As for the contents, what are the aspects that we expect the students um, to discuss. Here we have first the pathogens. The students are required to explain the epidemiology, for example, the cases that happen in Malaysia or worldwide, how the diseases are being transmitted, the mechanism of how infections occur, the symptom as well as the treatment of the disease. Secondly, they also have to discuss in the immunological aspect where they will discuss about the war between the pathogens and the host, how does immune response involve and how the pathogens evade the attack by the immune system and lastly, the detections of the pathogens using immunological methods and for the third aspect that they need to discuss will be the genetics the genetic manipulations of these pathogens to develop a vaccine molecular method for the detections of the pathogens in detail and so on and so forth. Having all these information, it will allow the students to have clearer pictures of what we expect of them. As mentioned earlier, we created a platform to allow the student to share their information. The platform that I use for this mini project is called Padlet. I'm sure many of you have heard about this. So here you can see I have put a tab for important information and respective diseases where the students will have to choose which group or which diseases they are interested to study about and they form a group of students of five within each of the group. And in this platform also, the student will be able to upload the information that they search. For example, what you see here are some of the informations from the website as well as their outcome of the project. This platform allows the lecturers to also monitor the progress of the students and we can give real life information or comment to the students without having to wait until they submit their uh, final outcome. One of the most important uh, things for mini project is the timeline of the project. You have to create a timeline where you specifically mention what is the date that you want them to achieve the timeline for. For example, this is a one of the timeline for the student to submit their first progress report which is the mind map and then the second progress report where they shared all the information they found in Padlet and then the third timeline for the students is to submit a scientific write-up on the selected topic and then the fourth will be the poster presentations at the faculty and lastly we bring this to the school so having this timeline in place the student will have a very clear deadline for them to achieve what we expect of them. Here, it will prevent the students to give excuses like I don't know the timeline or I don't know the deadline. 
That's all for today.